A patch of moss sits on the shady side of a tree. For months it's been drying. What was green now looks rusty. Nestled amongst the moss, but way too little to see, are animals who've been awaiting water like seeds. They're able to wait many years, but there's no reason. The arrival of spring brings the rainy season. They'll populate the moss by millions per square meter. Water bear is a name for this invincible creature. Their official scientific name is tardigrade. Water bear is a more exciting nickname someone made. It's not because they're a hairy or large animal. They're closer related to insects than a mammal. The one quality they share with a bear is their stride. When they walk, their barrel-shaped body sways side to side. They feast on plant matter like moss it inhabits, or bacteria, protists, and small invertebrates. Their color changes with their diet and what's around. Shades of purple, pink, yellow, black, green, orange, red, or brown. Smooth, porous bodies absorb all the water they need. Claws dangle from eight plump legs and their fangs are used to feed. Adaptiveness is what gives water bears many strengths, despite being a half a millimeter in length. If you live down under, over, or across the pond, water bears are the source of an unusual bond. From pole to equator, they can be found anywhere. If there's water and vegetation, they could live there. Fresh or marine water and terrestrial earth are suitable for their cycles of life, death, and birth. Like passengers of a barnacle riding a boat, from common to extreme dwellings, here are some to note. Lemon yellow lichen, moss that's spongy, leaves that fell, or multicolored algae, Himalayan peaks, rockets in motion, steaming hot springs, or floor of the ocean. Water bears contract into a capsule called a ton, a protective condition that's easily undone. Water bears all possess this crucial ability, enabling them to endure life's adversity. Water bears in their ton state are not sleeping or dead. Acting and resembling seeds, they're resting instead. How do tons form from an animal that's long and plump? Legs pull in, they fold in half, then compact head to rump. Metabolism slowed over 90%. Growth, respiration, and reproduction are absent. They're able to remain as a ton for many years. Not growing older, they'll wait for the problem to clear. The water bear's revival just takes a few hours. Then they can freely wander the dew, moss, and flowers. They've migrated around the world into distant lands, but were subjected to outer space by human hands. Their unparalleled abilities sent them away. While they didn't volunteer, resilience they'd display. Water bears in space, while it's not, it seems natural. They survive freezing, boiling, toxic chemicals. Adapted to life everywhere else nature designed, low pressure is just the next step for tardigrade kind. 2007, they made their debut mission, escaping the shackles of gravity like a prison. Ten days on a satellite, they spent orbiting Earth while they continued to float and crawl, eat and give birth. Not even space radiation could stop water bears in an orbit of their own as no creature compares.